First of all, I would like to thank the committee of the course for the invitation. It's such a joy and pleasure to be here with you. So, now I'm, I'm going to start with the, my approach, which is hydrotherapy for uh, reverse total shoulder arthroplasty. First, I want to take a deeper view on our data, patient's data in order to find some uh, hidden information. As it has to do with her age, a 65 years old person should also have bad posture of upper back and cervical spine, spondyl arthritis and muscular spasm. All those things we must keep them in mind when we want to schedule our program. We must schedule a program that is, can easily be performed by a 60 years old person avoiding the exaggeration and non-realistic goals. About status and priority. Our first priority is to be, to be able to fend for herself and return to daily and householding activities. We are lucky because we don't have to restore activities for profession, hobbies and sports. It's been eight years from the first injury, one and a half year from the fracture, three months of treatments, which means that it is a great possibility that a corrupted pattern of movement is established. Non-injured structures like the scapula have dysfunction. It is sure that our patient may face issues like frustration, loss of self-confidence, afraid of pain, safety concern and emotional stress. Her pre-revision pre range of motion shows us that we must focus on the deltoid muscle and the pro-revision, pro-surgical range of motion looks promising. Now we're going to find out how the benefits of hydrotherapy make a match with our patient's needs. Inside the water, there is 90% reduction in the amount of weight pressing down on one's body, 50% reduction if half body is in the pool. There is less pressure on sore post-surgical joint. Water provides increasingly mobility in the natural form of joint mobilization. There is less impact on shoulder. Decreased swelling through hydrostatic pressure. Warm water reduces pain and muscular spasm. Water assists, supports movement, improves core strength and balance. It delivers psychological relaxation and reduces emotional stress. The most important is shoulder elevation in the water is a significantly lower activation on the rotator cuff, potentially beneficial to patients who rely on extra work of the deltoid muscle. Now, my approach is based on Massachusetts General Hospital Rehabilitation Protocol for RTSA. Hydrotherapy cannot be a part of the first phase of the protocol for many reasons, like uh, protecting the stitches, avoiding uh, water wavings, or be sure that the patient is uh, able to do all the necessary routine to enter a pool. So hopefully, we will start at the second phase of the protocol four to six weeks after surgery. So, our rehabilitation goals is gradually increase shoulder passive range of motion, initiate shoulder active, assistive, and active range of motion, initiate perscapular muscle activation and deltoid activation, always avoiding shoulder extension. Our intervention, interventions, we keep on working with uh, passive room. We're starting assistive active range of motion with flexion water slides, Horizontal water slides, pendulums, shoulder flexion with swimming pool noodle, external rotation with SPN, shoulder elevation with SPN, press with swimming pool equipment and active assistive shoulder flexion. We also initiate active range of motion with supine flexion, salutes, supine punches. We start strengthening per scapular and also dictoid with isometrics in the scapular plane. The criteria to progress is pain 4 to 10 and the palpable muscle contraction of the scapular musculator. Now we're going to watch a video. I want to visualize the program. So I have used a role model that is demonstrating the exercises, of course, in a perfect way in order to be understandable. In real life and with real patients, things are never like this. Passive flexion.
passive abduction. Passive external rotation. Per scapolo strength. Per scapolo strength with the foot. Strengthening the scapulas. Flexion water slides. Horizontal water slides. Pendulums. Active assistive social flexion. Supine flexion with SPM. Supine external rotation with SPM. Press with equipment. Supan punches. Salutes. This is a repetition, so I want to go back to the now, the third phase, intermediate post, will be around seven to eight weeks. Our rehabilitation goals is minimize pain, gradually progress passive range of motion and passive range of motion internal rotation in the scapular plane. Gradually progress with assistive active and active range of motion of shoulder. Gradually progress deltoid and scapular strengthening and initiate motor control exercise. Our intervention, as it has to do with mobility, passive range of range of motion full in all planes, and passive range of motion internal rotation in scapular plane around 50 degrees. Active, active assistive range of motion with wall climbs, seated shoulder elevation with cane with active lowering, active range of motion with seated scaption, seated flexion, supine forward elevation with resistance to 90 degrees. We continue strengthening periscapular with serratus punches and deltoid with CD shoulder elevation with cane, CD shoulder elevation with cane and active lowering, ball roll on the wall, and we initiate motor control in internal and external rotation, scapion plane and flex around 90 to 125 degrees. The criteria for the next phase is pain 4 to 10, range of motion goals, elevation around 140 degrees, external rotation around 30 degrees neutral, Internal rotation around 50 degrees. Our next video. Thanks. Full volume. Like 50 percent of the body inside the wall is now. Should give the patient this pain. Super elevation up to the loading with SP. Super forward elevation with resistance to loading with this. Piper is capable of strengthening his capsule plane. Say.
Phase fourth, transitional post-op nine to 11 weeks. Rehabilitation goals, maintain pain-free range of motion. Progress periscapular and deltoid strengthening. Progress motor control exercise. Improve dynamic shoulder stability. Return to functional activities. As it has to do with mobility, full passive range of motion in all planes. And strengthen is periscapular with resistant shoulder extension, resistant seated rows, robbery, lawn mower, and control, motor control with PNF and eight figures. The video of the face. We initiate extension. Resistance shoulder extension. Extension comes gradually. Resistance seated rows. Robbery. Lone mower. was a good video, but the reality is something different. Reality is far beyond protocols and timetables. Every patient is unique and unpredictable. Maybe each phase of the program will last weeks more. Maybe we won't even able to reach the third phase of recovery. But the environment of the pool gives us the benefits of synthesis, adaptation, creation, and personalization in order to face the challenges. Hydrotherapy is not just a therapeutic session, but an experience with feeling. Flow, combining rehabilitation with well-being. Thank you very much, and especially my colleagues that helped me with the videos.